May the river hoopoo be with you always. Arg, it's one eye Mitch over here, and today on MRD Unboxing, we're going to be opening up all this treasure. Arg, 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 arg. Arg, welcome back from Dino Week and all that jazz. Um, enough with the pirate talk. Um, just getting down to business. Um, I actually didn't get a chance to play at the Dino uh, thing, Dino sized weekend or whatever that they uh, Magic the Gathering had. Um, this partly partly the reason was I was a little bit busy and also that my favorite store didn't actually have um, that event and all that so it was kind of unfortunate but anyways enough about that um i did play one standard uh event with my deck my blue black uh hostage taker dead eye plunderer deck that i built i just wanted to go through the deck and standard and what i think and all that but first um time for some unboxing i'm going to open up uh some free walmart packs that i got for free um, I know I didn't steal them. I got them from uh, Walmart MasterCard points. I I was like, hey, free boosters is free boosters. I, um, I would recommend never buying from Walmart. So um, always buy from your local store. So I can't stress that enough. <laughs> so uh, time to open up some free boosters of Aoife Revolt. Here we go. I got four... Four packs of Aoife Revolt for free. Okay, let's do this. Open this up. Wow, okay. It's been a long time since I've had a Walmart pack of Wal of uh, Magic cards. And uh, they appear to use glue now. So be careful when opening up the cardboard boxes. I guess they do that to stop people from stealing it, uh, which they usually end up doing anyway, so hopefully I didn't ruin the card. Let's see what we got. I'm very unfamiliar with the set, so um, I just know there's like two cards I'm looking for, that pirate and the planeswalker, not the ship one. And apparently Fatal Push is in this. Not a card I'm really looking for, but you know, if I get it, no complaints. Um, oh, that's cool. It's like a train. Train. And Siege. I don't know those. Hmm. No foil. Oh, I got Fopper Token. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Oh, man, if I knew these things were so hard to open, I wouldn't have... I would have opened them up beforehand just to get to the booster faster. Okay, here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, doo, doo, doo. Here we go. Common. Airdront. And this thing. Eh, I like it. Come on. There's two cards I'm looking for. And if I don't get the cards I'm looking for, Fatal Push would be nice, because I don't really care about the Fatal Push. I wouldn't mind having one. They're valuable, apparently. But, yeah, I don't really care about the Fatal Push, but if I get one, I will not complain, because it's valuable, apparently. Uh, okay. And... Hunger Flames, and is this the one I wanted? Another artifact you chose playing the grave from the path of return to your hand, target. Eh, not really what I wanted. Last pack, do you think I got it? The Planeswalker Tezzerak, or the, the pirate that I want? Probably not. Nose, boom, boom, boom. Got another vehicle, which I like. I like vehicles. Oh, I got a fatal push. Awesome. 
I'm going to trade that for value. Ah, uh, I saw the red, and I was really hoping it was the the pirate captain, because that would have been awesome. Fatal push and the card I wanted, but... And we're back. Okay, so I, I was shocked I did get the fatal push. I don't know. I don't know if I should run... I, I, I'm thinking just because I'm playing black, do I have to run fatal push? Like, is that, like, in order for me to win Exxon Standard, do I have to do Fatal Push? I kind of don't want to, but I'm going to hold on to the card, or as many as I get until then. So, I'm going to open up the Intro Packs later on, along with the Fat Pack. So, right now, here is my deck. A little overview of my deck. Okay, so as you can see here, this is my deck currently. I am still working it out in Standard, but anyways blue black with a little bit of green my highest cost thing is six costs which is the river's rebuke and the jace planeswalker and then my lowest cost i have a ton of one cost things um i don't really like i like having knowing that i don't really need a lot of high cost things it's just a little too heavy i think on the one and two side definitely on the two side so one mana, two mana, three mana, four mana, five mana, six. So um, some cards I do have in here as a placeholder until I get something better. Um, the Jace here, I'm really only using him for draw power because uh, you get the draw card for him. So draw power is good. Blah, blah, blah. Visor many faces really worked, um, surprisingly. Um in case I don't draw a hostage taker or if I only get one hostage taker out then I got you know visor many faces or if someone else I had a situation where someone else played the first match I played was a mirror match it was blue black mirror blue black um, and they had a one hostage taker and I with my visor came in and took their hostage taker which took my I think it took my kite sail so when I took the hostage taker, I got my kite sail back, and then, <laughs> yeah. So it was it was just a really funny hostage taker is pretty fun. Like even against hostage taker, it's like it's fun. It's really fun. I I, I definitely um, cards. I definitely I'm thinking of replacing. I'm definitely probably going to replace the conqueror's galleon. As much as I love this card, I've never actually got a chance to play it. Uh, really, there's only two reasons why I would play this card. Uh, let me pull it up. 210. That's that's one reason to play it. The problem is I do need a power for greater most for total creatures in order to activate to use this guy as a 210 blocker. That's the only downside. Um, and then when I if I do attack with him, he gets draw power, which I really like. You draw a card, discard a card, draw a card, and then return target card from your graveyard to your hand. That's great. That's amazing. But um, I don't think four costs, he kind of, there's too many four costs, so I'll probably get rid of that um, card. Which is unfortunate, because I, I kind of really wanted to play him in standard, but oh well. Next up, uh, Mirage Mirror. Uh, I think it might be a little too complicated to put in there. If I put it on, I'm thinking of just leaving it in, just because it's, uh, when it enters the field, it becomes a target. Like, it, it gets all the aggro. All the people are like, oh, I must deal with that card right away. So I kind of like keeping that in the deck, along with the Planeswalkers. Uh, just because they become such a target people are like oh I need to deal with this first It kind of distracts people. I like that. I like distracting people Absolutely, I definitely want to continue playing is for for the thematic compass uh, I love the idea of it and that's partly the reason why I got the intro decks um, Because it came with the planeswalker whose first ability is you reveal cards on the top of your library until you get an artifact so if I remove all other artifacts and just have the thematic compass, I can literally use that Planeswalker to get that card onto the field as fast as I can. People will be dealing with four of the mazes, hypothetically, if they don't remove it. I didn't see any play for March of the Drowned. And that kind of bugs me, because I'm like, it's a good card, especially late game, um, one cost, 
you bring something back and then you use the rest of your mana to put that thing onto the field. But now I'm thinking, should I just get rid of it? As much as I love the card and it brings back pirates, um, or maybe I should just go down to two. I don't know. Reason, I do like scrying. The reason and um, uh, Nisa, who's really I only use for scrying. That's the only reason I put those cards in this deck is scrying. Because I figured scrying is a good ability. But in this deck, I'm starting to think I should get rid of that ability. I mean, it would free up some cards so I can put in better cards and stuff. I'm also thinking of getting rid of, I don't know, some combination of the pirates. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do. Because um, some of the other decks I was playing about, I did okay. <laughs> the maze saved me one game. One game... I was literally down to one health, and I was versus the only red-green... It was the only uh, matchup where red was in their color base, and I was down to one life, and one of these mazes saved me. I only had one on the field, it turned into maze, and then he only had one creature in it. And it, it saved me for, like, another eight turns. So I am keeping those four cards in, absolutely. I said it before in the other video, so four of those and the four hostage taker I would like to keep and maybe the four dead eye plunderers, but I'm not sure. But I'm I'm just thinking one of the people at the event uh, after playing against me and I did win just to let you know I won one game and that was the uh, blue black mirror match. I did win. I won one, lost one and then won the other one so uh best two out of three i won which is a great victory on my part but um because <laughs> i hardly ever win um i lost all the other games but all the other games i lost in three three or two there was like one one of them was two and i think the rest of them was out of three i lost and one of the later matches i was versus the guy suggested to me to use to use, that's what he suggested, was a God's Pharaoh gift. And I didn't really, was like I knew of this card, but now the more I'm thinking about it, the more better it would be than having those four bring back cards. Because I can bring back the creature as a zombie pirate and then have it a 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> that's pretty amazing. And if I have a hostage taker, we're talking about... Um, putting on a 4-4 four, four hostage taker. You know, a 4-4, four, four, even if it's a 4-4 four, four Dead Eye Plunderers, I think Dead Eye Plunderers is, yeah, free free. So you're still getting the one extra point, and on top of that, it gets plus one, plus one for each artifact and create teacher. So I'm actually really heavily considering putting God Pharaoh's Gift in. Anyways, enough of me meandering on about this. Time to open up the two Planeswalker decks to see what I get. And then I'll talk for a little bit and then open up the fat pack. Okay, let's focus this up. My foiled river hoopoo is missing. I haven't seen it in a long time, so I don't know where it went. But here's a normal river hoopoo for uh, focusing. First up, I just wanted to show some cards I picked up. The only reason I had a f got a fat pack of Aoife Revelle because I wanted this card. And every place I went to didn't have it. And then, you know, several weeks later, I went back and checked, and uh, now they had one. So I was like, well, okay, I picked it up just to make sure I get one. But I think this could do well in my black-blue deck, along with one of the reasons why I picked up the, the intro pack is this card. So I got another one, so now I have two of them, because I figure... That ability. Reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal an artifact card. Now, the downside is you're revealing your library. But the plus side is you get the artifact card into your hand, right? Yeah. And then the rest goes back into your library when you shuffle. Oh, bottom of the library. Okay, so it's not shuffle, but bottom of the library. This can work to my advantage. I just had to figure out a good way. Plus, also, you can uh, uh, lose life equal to the number of artifacts you control. So... If I have a lot of treasures, I use this ability and boom, you know, because treasures are artifacts. And then, you know, just in case of emergency, if I want to gain control of all artifacts and uh, creatures target opponent controls, I mean, it doesn't say until end of turn, so I assume you 
you keep them. So I picked up those two cards. When I played at the standard, I didn't get Ixlon token, but I got a promo. I think this is from Aoife Revolt, because it has Revolt as a uh, ability. Once again, I'm not familiar with the Revolt set, but um, I have no idea if this is good or not. I'm probably not going to use it. And I picked up this card. But then I, I totally forgot Eldridge Moon is not standard anymore. And I was like, oh, this would be a great land. It's a colorless, but you can draw a card, discard a card, each player. And I'm like, oh, that can work for draw power. But then I forgot it's not standard anymore. And I didn't realize until after I purchased this that the promo for the set comes with a foil token, which is awesome. I'm going to open it. Might as well. It's an unboxing video. I better start unboxing things, you know? Let's not ruin the card, Mitchell. But that's awesome. A foil token as well? Why why, why didn't uh, Exelon promos come with a foil token? That would have been awesome. Anyways, yeah. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, it's double-sided. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm experiencing this for the first time. My gosh, badass zombie token. Yeah, that's that's badass anyways i found another neat card when i was looking to buy stuff uh inventor's fair i have no idea if i would actually use this but um i like it you know if i ever had an artifact deck or whatever at the beginning of your upkeep if you control for your more artifacts you gain one life awesome but this is this is the reason another another way for me to find an artifact card is through this land so i might run this in my blue black deck just so i can get the thematic compass and maybe something else artifact wise i don't know i'm going to start off with the non e for revolt pack with uh almond almond cat set uh liliana death Wheeler. i mean i'm like a majority of my cards are blue black so i'm like maybe i'll have use for her in that deck or maybe another deck so the only thing I found interesting is don't buy from Walmart. This is one of the few times I would buy from Walmart, but I just, I've never seen an intro pack have shrink wrapping on it, like individually. So I don't know, is this repackaged? Is this fake? Or is this something really good? I don't know, because all the other ones didn't have the shrink wrap in Walmart. So I'm like, why does this one have shrink wrap? And I'm like, I gotta find out. Once again, I forgot scissors. Shrink wrap coming off. Bum bum bum. Let's see what we got here. Cool box. I really like the new Planeswalker boxes. It's a lot better than what they used to give for like fat packs and stuff. Um, let's get this card out. Woo. Looks nice. A little bent, but eh, there's nothing you can really do about that nowadays. Quality control, wizards. Quality control. Oh, I put the cards in here. Oh, okay. It's been a while since I opened one of these. Two boosters that look like they've been squashed. Uh, high heaven. I have no idea what this deck comes with. First one, Chandler Initiative. When it enters the battlefield, put free cards on it. Uh, interesting. Very interesting two drop. I think I've seen it before. I think I got one. So now I think I have two of them. Okay, so green rare. Oh, it comes with an Oracle's Vault. Uh, okay. What is this? I've never seen this. Oh, this must be for the... Yeah, it's uh, numbers above. So this is made exclusively for this pack. Interesting. Oh, that's right. It always comes with a card where you can search your library for that card. So if I put whatever the black and blue one is for Tezzerak, I can get that card with an extra two slots. So that's awesome. Um, hopefully it does come with something like that. Common, common, common. Do, 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 really fast. Uncommon. Common, uncommon, uncommon. Yeah, so it looks like it's black, green. Uncommon. Common. Uh, multicolor. Uncommon. Uh, land made specifically for intro pack. Boom, grasping dunes. Is that made for this pack? No, that's... Huh. I've actually never seen that on Common Card before. Cool. Land, land, land. No one cares about land. Boom. Okay. Trial Ambition. What would do? Artifact. Common. 
Kamen, uh, Splendor, Agony, Cartouche. Can't get enough Cartouche. Gift of Paradise. Interesting. Da da da. Okay. Boom. Okay, let's do this. And get pack one. Do do do. Intro pack. Ba ba ba. Uh, boom boom boom. Boom. Okay, let's see what we got here. Fling. Do 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 do. Give me. I don't know what's in the set. Give me Mythic. Sure, why not? Okay, so comments. Uncommon, uncommon, and... Oh, yeah! Oh, I can never get enough Ronas. I only had one, so now I have two. I might run this with my other one in my blue-black deck. Splash of green, because, I mean, this guy gives other creatures trample. And when I have Deadeye Plunderers on the field, that's a 10-10, but he doesn't have trample, this is my give him trample card, you know? So, yes, love it. Well, that was awesome. Uh, what's the chances of me getting a third mythic? Because I got the one that comes with the intro pack, the Planeswalker, and then I got Ronas. Is it possible to get a third one? Let's find out. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go, really quick. Boom, 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 boom. What am I going to get by fours? Drake Haven, awesome, and a foil of the uncommon. Awesome. I I don't have I seen this card before. I don't know. The foil might be throwing me off, but uh, Drake Haven is awesome because I have never gotten this card yet from the set. So, and I really want to build a deck around this. So, I need a couple more though. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? That was a pretty good intro pack. Got Ronus, awesome, and Drakehaven, which is the card I wanted to get. So um, that was a really good pack, but I would recommend, once again, don't buy from Walmart. <laughs> My luck has been very good so far, considering I'm opening intro packs. I, once again, this is a block I'm really unfamiliar with. This came out around the time when I wasn't playing Magic. Like, it was during the time that I had a break in between playing Magic, so... Um, hopefully it uh, gives me the cards I need, because I have no idea what's in the set. Is this the one with the Gear Hulk? The blue Gear Hulk that everyone uses, or is that in uh, Kaladesh? Like, I don't even know. Awesome treasure. Shiny. Gotta go fast, Mitchell. Here we go. Merchant Dock Hand. Four blue. Tap. Uh... X untapped artifacts you control. Look at the top X cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. <sighs> that might work in my deck. But eh, I have a lot of four costs and it's kind of a mana sink. But mm, I'll think about it. I don't know how effective it would be. It's a 1-2 creature, so a lot of spells can get rid of it, like uh, Fatal Push and all that. I love the uh, theme of it. It's a dockyard, and you're you're basically looking for stuff. I like that. Oh, let's, let's break the cards, Mitchell. I always hate that when it, the plastic gets tight, and then you feel like when you, you're going to open it, it's going to like rip open and bend the cards and that. Merchant Docker, Doc, Doc card. Dockard, uh, Spy, and just Battlefield Target Opponent. Uh, I'm sorry if I'm reading these cards. I literally don't know the set as well. So yeah, Destroy Target Creature. You may search your library for a card name, Master or Metal. Reveal and put in your hand. So, 5 cost, and it's a 6 cost card. Uh, I don't know if that will be beneficial in my deck. I, I am running two of him, so if I run two of these, these can help me find him. Plus, I can destroy target creatures. So it's removal, and I can find him, and if he's in the graveyard, I can bring him onto the field, or bring him into my hand and then play him. So this could be beneficial. I'm probably going to use that. Uh, Ormifomper, uh, Uncommon, Common, Common. Do, do, do. I'm going to go fast through this because uh, even though I don't know this set, uh, I assume you guys only come here to watch the video for the rares. So 
Uh, I'm gonna skip through all the comments as fast as I can without making the video look like crap. Uh, boop -a doo do 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 So how are you guys doing? How's your weekend? Oh yeah, that's right. I forgot to say. Tell me down below in the comments what how uh, your uh, weekend was for dino dino sized weekend. I wish my favorite store had dino sized weekend, but it uh it didn't. And Lance, okay. Ooh, time to sort this. <laughs> Boom! Everything is sorted. The next booster. Are you gonna give me a mythic rare, or are you gonna give me a rare that I want? And the basically any pirates because I know there's a one or two pirates in this set, um, and that uh, oh my focus and the uh, the vampire. There's a vampire in this set. Wait, okay, it's common, common. Oh, once again, unfamiliar with the set. Ooh, artifact vehicle. I love vehicles. Um, I don't know how good some of these vehicles are, but okay. So commons, boom, boom. Are we gonna get a some? What is this? <laughs> it is a hope of whatever. Uh, I can definitely not pronounce that. One one flying sacrifice into your extended target player who's dealt comes damage really when this turn can't cast non creature spell. Oh, it's that card. Okay. Um, interesting. Hey, it's a token. Woo! Okay, everything is sorted out. Let's do this. Next one. Last one, until the fat pack. Boom, give me something good. Boom, 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 boom. Coming, 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 coming. Okay, here we go. Yay, an arm flipper, zero cost. I can throw it on the field. Hey, I got that two cost. Wait a second, you're not a rare? Oh, I actually thought you were a rare. Oh, my mistake. That's the vampire I wanted. Okay. Well, that's that's a surprise. What is this? Oh, it's a mythic. Lightning Runner. Five cost. Double strike haste. Whenever it attacks, you get two energy counters. Then you may pay a shit ton. And if you pay a shit ton, untap all creatures you control. And after this phase, there is an additional combat phase. Oh, so it's like... um. That combat celebrant from Amucat, only instead of extort to get an additional combat phase, you have to pay energy. Uh, interesting. Then once again, I'm not a fan of the, the mechanics of these two sets. I mean, Revolt is a good mechanic, but the energy counters are really... I'm starting to warm up to it, but I, I still dislike them. Two Mythics and two Planeswalker decks. I mean... Wow, that's that's pretty good. I mean, I don't think Lightning Runner is that good of a card, but hey, I got Ronus in the other one, so. Anyways, now back to the vlog, and then we'll end it off later on with the fat pack. So, this deck I'm definitely going to be redoing. Uh, or not redoing, but just changing it a lot to make it even better. I already see a lot of room for improvement. Here's my sideboard. Once again, you can see just how bad I am at playing Magic. This is my sideboard currently. Um, basically, most of the removal is in the sideboard. Um, and some of the other cards that are playset. I'm not that good at Magic, but you know what? I want to win Exxon Standard. That, that mat, I don't know if you've seen the map for the Champion Game Day. Oh my gosh, it is amazing. It is the map of Ixalan, and oh, I want that map so badly. I don't even care about the prize boosters or or winning with the certificate. All I want is that map, but I'm probably not going to win it. But you know what? I'm going to try. So, And I, I found the Ixalan binder thing. I thought it would be uh, good to get this because, you know, it's... Ixalan and Rivals of Ixalan, like I said in my previous video, is the last time I'm going all out buying everything and trying to do well in standard. And I'm basically not after Ixalan. I'm not really going to play standard. I'm just going to, like, if I'm going to build a deck 
and all that. I'm just going to buy cards I want specifically. Because so far, as I have seen, for the money I spent for the booster box and the Ixalan uh, intro packs and fat pack and all that, I could have bought the individual cards that I got rare-wise for cheaper price than what I did get. So from here on out, I'm not doing... I'm going to try not doing standard, but if I am want to build a standard deck, I'm going to just buy the specific cards I want. Other than that, I'm probably going to stick to Modern and Legacy and all that. So, I figured what better way to moralize it, because I do want to collect one of every card in the set for Ixalan. So, um, this binder has enough sleeves and spots for every card in the set, plus more. So, I'm going to do buy this one for Ixalan, which I got, and then I'm going to buy the Pro Binder for Rivals, and then that will be it. From there on out... <laughs> I'm just buying singles. Anyways, moving on. Boop, boop, boom. Uh, there's my piles for the intro pack I opened. Um, okay, so over here, I have all the rares and foils of cards I got that are, are in standard. So these are standard rares and foils that I have. I'm just thinking... Deck wise, I'm actually su still surprised I got a fatal push. But um, I'm thinking because when I played in standard, there was not a lot of people playing an aggro or, or had red in their deck, basically. So anything that's like red, there was only one deck I was versus that had red. So I was thinking, why don't I switch up the gameplay and try building a mono red deck? Like, I'm thinking like. Four of the Sky Raiders, um, four of that other captain that's um, that every time it attacks you get a treasure token, and then four of that pirate that for the cost of four you can gain control of target creature. Put four of the free cost gain control of target creature, like just <laughs> a whole bunch of gain control of target creatures, and just have you know the whole deck be like attack, attack, attack. You know, I don't know. Would that do well? I'm also thinking maybe, maybe approach the second sun. You know, I really like that card, and I didn't realize, you know, when I bought three of them, um, that that card is used in those decks for winning tournaments or whatever. And I didn't realize it. I literally bought the card because I liked it. Um, I need to get a fourth one, but I was building a modern deck around it. But I was thinking standard. I'm like. Could I maybe do a unexpected version of Approach of the Second Sun? Like, should I throw it in with my blue-black deck? Because everyone's like, oh, you're blue-black control. And then uh, all of a sudden it's like, whoa, Approach of the Second Sun? Where did that come from? Make a deck where the whole deck is like maybe five colors and the whole deck is just countering... And just, like, not countering, but, like, having the mazes and all that, or the version of the mazes. And there was a couple other cards where it's, like, target creature can't attack this turn. Just have a whole deck built around stopping your creatures from attacking. And then have Second Sun. That artifact from Amaket, where if you had enough counters on it, you can tap to um, prevent that creature from attacking. And then you got spells, exile creatures, and if players can't cast more of cards with that name, that creature can't attack or block, all that jazz. Just build a whole deck like that. But I'm like, can I build it? <laughs> like, I, I'm doubting my building skills here. Anyways, another card I, I was versus in the deck, um, like the Mirror Match, Black Blue, the second game that I lost um, out of the free. Frank Sanity. This is amazing. I I totally forgot how amazing this is. Basically, at the beginning of each end step, you know, blah blah blah, top cards from the library go into your graveyard equal to the number of cards that left or went into the graveyard that turn from anywhere. So pile, have this on the field, and then put the I I don't have it with me for some reason. I thought I I remember having it. That fish fleet swallower. Where every time it attacks, half your deck goes into your graveyard. Like, that's a winning combo. 
like, and those are, are relatively cheap cards. The the person I was playing against said, um, you know, she only spent like less than twenty bucks for this deck, and and it's like really cheap, and it you know it made me lose the second game, and I'm like, that's that's a crazy good combo for winning and then i'm like it's both blue cards so i'm like should i play that in my deck i i just i feel like <laughs> i i i don't know i just feel weird I, i'm like am i copying other people just so i can win exelon and here's the thing that was just a normal that was a wednesday night standard like almost like friday magic but it's it was on a wednesday don't ask those people were just trying decks as well i i don't last time i played for our devastation standard when i was versus people on a the day that wasn't game day and then i played the, the same people in game day only one person was playing the same deck for game day and the normal random just casual standard so i have a feeling it's like am i not seeing people's grade a amazing decks like is everyone gonna just turn around and start playing green red white dinosaurs <laughs> like is that the secret deck that everyone's been building and no one's been playing like i don't know i'm like i'm i'm scared i'm like should i do green red dinosaurs just <laughs> just to see how it is i don't know <sighs> let me know what you guys think in the comments and what i should do anyways i'm sure you, i've ranted on enough oh wait First, another thing I want to mention. Every player that I played against that had blue had this card in their deck. I didn't really like this card. Search for kind of I'm starting to see its use for it, but once again, I don't like putting stuff in my graveyard intentionally, but I'm starting to warm up this card. I might actually sideboard this card into my deck. Um, just because, you know, beginning of your upkeep, you look at the top card of your library, you may put it into your graveyard. So you don't have to put it in your graveyard. You may put it in your graveyard. So now I'm starting to think there's really next to no downside to this card. So I'm thinking I should run it. I do have a play set of this card. So and then it transforms. Yeah, that's an art crucial thing. You may transform search for a, uh, as Kanda. I can't even pronounce you. So you may transform it. Like, that's a crucial thing. Choice. Search for Arcanza, I, I do see the use for it, but I would just use it for the front part. So anyways, here we go. The moment you've all been waiting for. A for Vault Revolt Fat Pack. Okay, I just screwed up all my piles. Give me good stuff. Give me Sky Raider. Give me that a play set of that Uncommon Vampire. Give me scissors to open this god... Damn it, it's a fake video because I didn't open it on screen. I'm sorry. There's, <laughs> I should have moved the camera back. There's literally not much room between this and the uh, the mat. Yay! Same art, but, you know, box form. Crappy little line thing. I hate, I hate that triangle thing that they did with the newer ones. I like the square old ones. Okay, anyways. There's the book, blah, blah, blah. You've seen this before. To me, I want to know what this looks like because I, I love collecting fat packs. That's probably the only thing I'm going to really buy when a new set comes out is fat pack. Just one fat pack and then that's it. Well, the art does look a lot better when it's uh, really big. You can see so much more details. But, um, yeah. Stuff. Okay, so I got a black die. For E for Revolt. I really hate the symbols for these two sets. The Kaladesh and the E for Revolt. It's just. It's so easy to get mixed up. If you don't look at them carefully. I like sets where you can recognize the symbol. Right off the back. Booster number one. Give me whatever it is I need. To uh, win. Exelon. Standard. Here we go. Start off with a shock. So shocking. Hold on. Is my focus out of whack? It is. Focus. Boom. Okay. Shock. Blah, 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 blah. No one cares. I'm coming. Okay. I'm coming. I'm coming. Oh, it's a blue rare. Or mythic. Oh, 
It's the Chief of Compliance. Instant sorcery spells you cost, cost one less. Whenever a spell or ability you control a counter spell, you may draw a card. If you do, discard a card. Pack number two. Okay, open this up. Gotta go fast. Is my focus off again? Okay, no, it's right there. Boom, 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 boom. Coming, coming. Yay! It's that rare I also wanted. Oh, shit! Foil Mythic! This is only the second Foil Mythic I've ever opened. The first one was that, um, that tree. That dead tree in Innistrad, the second second remake block the one with the eldrazi oh my gosh this must be one of the good ones hopefully because the wow wow five five flying at the beginning of your end step each opponent discards a card it's funny i have really good luck in getting the mythic demons in like every set like, I, I got so many of this guy, or not this one, but I, I it's just, <laughs> for some reason, Magic the Gathering really wants me to play demons. Well, that's, uh, I don't know if that's a, <laughs> a, a good mythic, but a mythic foil is a mythic foil, am I right? But, um, yeah, I, I, I wanted this card. This is one of the rares I want a play set of. Um, that one and Kyra Zev's, um, legendary card but that one gets is in the gift the new gift box so um it definitely lost its value so it's actually not as good time for the next one um that was amazing mythic demon foil um i forgot to mention but uh this was the last fat pack in stock at and not my favorite store but the um one of the other stores that i went to looking for the Tesseract the Seeker and I couldn't find them so I found that there was one last fat pack of the set in that store so I was like okay I'll buy it and wow <laughs> I really like buying the last of something and then it turns out to be a really good pack boom and then you got this dude okay so we got a white rare it's the Solemn Recruit um yeah, I, I think it's a good card, but, um, I don't know, I'm, I'm an ex, I'm just a, oh yes, I got the token, monkey token, Ooh. monkey hype in the chat, oh yeah, this is not live, maybe that monkey token was a sign I'm gonna get that legendary pirate, boom, 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 Let's see what we got here, Convention. Conviction? Conviction. Pronounce the names right, Mitchell. Centipede. Centipede. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Deadeye Harpooner. Maverick Phenopolis. Enraged Giant. I got a blue rare. Oh, it's the one I got already in the, uh, the intro pack, but... Okay. Oh yeah, I just remembered there's that um, artifact card I'm looking for. The one where it's red mana and it's like, um, it has red in it in the box and it's like, uh, it exiles cards from your library and then you can refill your hand with it if you discard your hand or something. I think that's a good card, but uh, I haven't seen it yet so I, I don't, maybe it's in the other set. Or maybe it's in this one, I don't know. Oh, there's the Constrictor. I heard there's a couple of decks around that that win. Uh, okay, got the Beast Deity. Efer Swooper. Foil. Oh, so I got I got two foils in this, uh, in this, uh, fat pack. So is that a good sign? Time for the next pack. Do, 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 do. Open... Another shock to begin with. Well, I think that foil mythic was such a big shock that I don't know. Maybe there's nothing else good in this fat pack. I don't know. Rampage. So, oh, it's a crab. I like crabs. I like I like sea creatures in general. Magic the Gathering and ah, uh, it's the dock hand. 
Okay, well, I got the Ephraim cell. Maybe that's telling me the Planeswalker's in the set. Come on, Planeswalker. Let's we'll see what's next. Dun, dun, dun. Come on, give me the cards I need. Give me the cards I need. I don't know what I need, but give it to me. Give it to me, baby, one more time. Oh, call for unity. Revolt at the beginning of your end step of permanent control. Left on the battlefield this turn. Put a unity counter on it. Creatures control get plus one, plus one for each unity counter. Um, that's a good card for my mono white commander deck, but I, I don't think it's good in standard. You know, I'm just thinking of it, but I'll, I'm surprised a lot of people aren't playing green white um cat deck in standard. Because they have the cards in there, so... I don't know, maybe I should try and build a green-white cat deck as well, just as a... See if it's actually a pretty good deck. Uh, boo-boo-doo... Give me that uncommon I wanted to place it of... No? Hey! It's, uh, I forgot Fatal Pushes in this. Well, that's, uh, not the uncommon I wanted, but, you know, I won't complain. And disallow. Uh... Two good um, counters. <laughs> awesome. I'm down to the last two packs. I guess it's good I bought that Planeswalker that I wanted. Otherwise, it looks like I'm not going to get it in this set. That foil mythic is taking away all my other cards that I wanted. Yeah, because the set's like, I'm going to give you something to oh, crack down. Uh, enters battlefield, exile artifacts your opponent's control until it leaves the battlefield. Oh my gosh, it's my worst nightmare for a blue-black deck. <laughs> my blue-black deck's all about that treasure, and you know, you <laughs> exile all my artifacts? Son of a... The final pack. Here we go. I assume at this point, as soon as this pack is over, everyone's going to leave my video and not stick around. But thank you very much for watching what you did watch. Have, uh, I want you to have a nice day or night or whatever time you watch this. Have a nice whatever. Thanks again for watching. And um, I'll give you another update video in the future to see how my deck building is going along. Oh, it's a blue rare. What is it? It's the world of invention. Welcome to the world of invention. Instant improvise. Search your library for an artifact card. With converted main cost X or less. Put it onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. Woo! I might actually use that card. Arrgh, thank you very much for watching, and check out my other stuff if you want. It's amazing what you can find. I ha I don't always do Magic the Gathering, but when I do, I do Magic the Gathering. But I do a lot of other things, mostly movies, Blu-rays, you know, unboxings, but... Every now and then there's always <laughs> something Magic the Gathering to open. I also make fan-made edits, uh, top 10 countdowns. I make a lot of things. So, arg, check it out, you scurvy dogs.